it comes at a very special time when it passes close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. In the span of just a few months, astronomers have recorded events that once would have been considered extraordinary. Five asteroids passed closer than the moon in a single week. A newly identified comet flared into view after being flagged by an amateur observer. And a third confirmed interstellar object, designated 3I Atlas, was detected racing toward Mars. These discoveries mark a sharp break from decades of relative quiet and reveal that Earth's immediate cosmic environment is far more dynamic and potentially hazardous than previously assumed. In the early days of August 2025, five asteroids swept past Earth in the space of just three days, each one passing inside the Moon's orbit. To the uninitiated, the official figure of 384,000 kilometers, the Earth-Moon distance, seems vast. But to astronomers working in real time, several of these objects slipped by at barely a quarter of that range. The smallest was no larger than a city bus, yet its detection triggered frantic calculations. Warning times were measured in hours, not days. The discovery forced the Planetary Defense Coordination Office into round-the-clock coordination with observatories worldwide. Internal accounts from those days reveal tense conference calls, data debated line by line, and the gnawing realization that, had one of the rocks been on a collision course, there would have been little time to react. The episode became a stress test of planetary defense systems and a sobering reminder that Earth's safety net is full of holes. The asteroids were only the beginning. On September 5, a faint smudge in public all-sky images caught the eye of a Ukrainian amateur. His discovery sparked a cascade of international collaboration. Word spread quickly through astronomy forums and chat groups, summoning a ragtag network of backyard observers from Spain to Chile. Makeshift equipment was pressed into service. One astronomer borrowed a neighbor's laptop, another cleaned his lens with a t-shirt in desperation. Within hours, Spanish observatories had confirmed the find. What began as a faint smudge became a fully designated object, C-2025R2 Swan, announced less than two days after the initial sighting. The comet brightened rapidly and promised naked-eye visibility before year's end. For the global community of amateurs, it was proof that even in an age of automated sky surveys, the human eye still mattered, and that collaboration across borders could make the cosmos feel, for a moment, just a little closer. And then came July's revelation, the third interstellar object ever confirmed. The Atlas survey team in Hawaii, sifting through their nightly sweep of 800 images, spotted a faint speck moving in a way no solar system body could. Its orbit was hyperbolic, meaning it was not bound to the sun. Its speed, over 58 kilometers per second, ruled out any local origin. The object was given a provisional designation, then quickly upgraded by the Minor Planet Center to 3I Atlas, signifying the third interstellar object known to science. The name joined only two others in history, Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. Excitement spread across the astronomy community. Slack channels, email threads, and late-night calls buzzed with skepticism and recalculations. Could this be a false positive? Was the trajectory correct? Spectroscopic follow-up brought an even greater surprise. Unlike Borisov, which displayed the familiar chemical signatures of a comet, water, carbon molecules, cyanogen, 3I Atlas showed none. Its light was a flat, featureless red continuum, suggesting dust only. No volatile gases. Here was something truly alien, not just in origin, but in composition. A wanderer from another star system, slipping briefly into ours and offering only fragments of itself to our instruments before it sped on. These discoveries have not arrived in isolation, but in a clustering that defies the expectations of many researchers. Alan Harris, a veteran asteroid dynamicist, argues that the timing cannot be dismissed as mere chance. Five close passes in three days, a new comet, and an interstellar object in such quick succession do not fit conventional statistical models. If randomness were the explanation, longer gaps should separate such encounters. Instead, they have stacked on top of one another, a burst of celestial traffic that feels almost scripted.
Others, like orbit analyst David Farnokia of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, disagree. He sees in the numbers not a cosmic surge, but a reflection of improved tools. Modern survey telescopes scan deeper and faster than ever before, with overlapping coverage across hemispheres. When weather cooperates and follow-up is coordinated, they naturally catch more objects in quick succession. His simulations predict these apparent spikes. To him, the sky has not grown busier. Our eyes have simply grown sharper. The truth likely lies somewhere between these poles. Telescopes such as PanStars, Atlas, and soon the Vera C. Rubin Observatory have transformed our awareness. Rubin, set to begin operations in the coming years, will generate more than 10,000 near-Earth object discoveries annually, numbers that would have seemed unthinkable to astronomers of past generations. The sudden multiplication of cosmic arrivals may be a matter of statistics, or it may reflect deeper processes at work in the galaxy. Either way, the effect is the same. Our sense of security has been unsettled. Five asteroids within lunar distance, a comet discovered in the glow of amateur collaboration, and a third confirmed interstellar object in less than a decade. Together, they tell us that the universe is far less settled than we once believed. The silence is broken and the skies are speaking. What remains is whether we are prepared to listen and to act.